Myths in learning are remarkably persistent, but why? It's important to understand that if we're to move beyond them. Why do people continue to fight for learning styles, neurolinguistic programming, MBTI and DISC generations and more? For one, it's tied to identity. When something is giving us a handle on something that feels right, it's appealing. For another, there's the Barnum effect. Like astrology forecasts, the statements are vague enough to sound like they're you. But so do all the others. If you've paid money, like to get certified in administering them, you're going to be even more allegiant. And there are models that are helpful. For instance, in personality, the Big Five, also known as Ocean, has a solid empirical basis, but others aren't. They do categorization and they feel right, but their basis doesn't stand up to scrutiny. What's one to do? It's even worse when it gets to hot button issues like climate change and the like. One answer is to first acknowledge the appeal, then cite where it falls apart and offer an alternative. You don't leave people without a way to proceed. When it's tied to identity, it can be harder. One thing is to see others taking the other path. Thus, I'm vocal about myths. I try not to be unkind, I've had mistaken beliefs I've had to remedy, and probably still have some. But the more folks see others behaving differently, being given explanations and an alternative, I believe we'll have a better chance to change for the better. And that's for the best for all of us.